Hi, yeah, I'm going to show you how to implement a RealMDB in a Shift UI project or iOS project. So let's jump into it without wasting any time. So I just created a Shift UI project without any, I didn't do anything. This is a just dummy Shift UI project. So for that, we have to implement a RealMDB. So for implementing RealMDB, I just going to follow the MangoDB uh, no documentation so nothing else so i will give the link in the below so you can use it for that also so first we will go to the file in the file you can see it over here add package dependency so you can find the package over here so actually i added the package otherwise that's why i add, used the uh, used in my some of the other projects that's why it is here so otherwise you can uh, paste this github url you can find the rail shift okay so once you find this shift you have to add to project so you have to select which project if you have pod means it will ask for pod also if it doesn't init i don't have pod i didn't init pod so that's why it's showing only my target so i am adding the package okay so once it is fetching and uh, everything is done so it will ask for two options one is for rail shift and one is normal rail so if we are using anything like objective c or something like oh you can see right so it is asking for two oh, so you can do both uh, or you can uh, if the, this if you are using only shift ui we can do this realm shift only we don't need realm actually realm this realm is for objective c projects okay if we are using shift we can use this realm shift okay, okay. i'm adding this one so now the dependency is added so uh, now we can start creating our uh, uh, models so how the realm will work it is like it is it is not it is a no sql db so uh, we have to create an entity the entity will save directly in the database so when we are getting it will take the data from the entity directly from here okay uh, as like that only so it is like kind of uh, different from sql db uh, the people who doesn't like to query or doesn't like to do anything means we can do whatever over here itself in sqldb we need to query and we need to fetch and we need to do lot of operations normalize the database lot of things so here we don't have anything we can just create uh, what else we need and we can do it okay so first uh, we'll i'll just create an uh, form okay i'll just create an form so inside form i'll add one text let's see Text. Okay. Add note. So uh, text field. So in this text field. Okay. Place holder. okay so uh, like this kind of i'm going to add a few things over here what is this trading so that that is uh, uh, not a big issue first uh, let me finish it first we'll add three states okay at state private val name string empty so i'll just create a file like name email not email gender age okay so i'm just creating three things so name gender age so we can do it over here name name okay once it is name name or uh, what it is not okay. sorry <laughs> there is no val over here that is val so I, I'm using Kotlin. So I'm just where, where, okay, fine. Okay, name. So this is one of the text field. Second text field. Third text field. So this will be gender. This will be age, and this will be gender age. Okay. So we have a three text field, and we can do button. Okay. Action and escape. Okay good so in this action and escape two things this in the text this one text ok 
okay in this text we are going to add save okay so this is our uh, basic project what happened So after this form, I am going to form one list. So that one will be, uh, I'll show you after that. So first we will create a model. So this is our form. Uh, I'll run the application in the final. So you, you can normally, this is the basic uh, shift UI form. So we'll create one more class. Okay. New file, shift file. Okay. Class should be note, notes. Okay, we'll take it as a notes. Inside DLM, create. Okay. So inside realm we created and class notes object. So this object, okay. So it will ask for your input. Input should be realm shift, okay. So we are going to re import realm shift only and here identifiable. So be why because I am adding identifiable, it is we are going to show a list right so we can directly use this model class to a list if we are we didn't add identifiable we can't do the for loop with this class okay so we can start creating a field for that place okay so we have to persistent where not where where so it should be where okay where name string okay so if we want an primary key, we have to add resist. Okay. Primary key. It's not this primary key. Or small p primary key. Then. Okay. So this is what it will be. Uh, then once we added this one, we can do the same thing for here. Where is it? T A R where underscore ID. So if we worked on MangoDB, the underscore ID is a basic object ID of the MangoDB. So the same thing for Atlas, uh, not like that Atlas. Uh, this real MDB. So objective object object ID is a ID. Uh, for this one what is that mango db id okay so uh, primary key is equal to this one so we have three fields right uh, name gender age okay so we have three field and convenience in it okay i'm just creating a convenience unit for this i don't want to do this one the error is because self dot init okay after that self dot init we can use this one okay so whenever we are doing this we can do this okay so we created an entity actually this is the data uh, table or entity in sql it is a table here it is an entity we created that and we can uh, write one function over here function save data so let's we have three items right so one is I'll create name string so uh, for easy okay okay name gender age okay so we created three things and we have a we don't want to add it over here we can add it inside the struct itself okay so here we want we need to uh, start the realm okay we have to initialize the realm so for initializing the realm we need to realm dot this only so we don't want to create much let's what is it let realm is equal to try realm okay so just we need to call the realm that's it so once we, we call the realm we need to import the realm okay so once we call the realm we will get the instance of the database so after getting the database we have we can pass this one over here so we'll do 
this with do catch okay catch so i'm going to add one callback 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 return should be boolean void okay so boolean void so if it is success we are going to return true if it is callback is equal to true callback is equal to false okay callback should be false so we we got this one right so once we got this one we need to load these datas in uh, our uh, node that one okay let item is equal to notes okay so name gender we have a name gender age okay we added three things only thing we, we want to add means so here realm dot right so inside this right block we need to here item okay so uh, that's it so the now we saved the item in this one so i am going to call this one in here in the save data so here name gender age okay done so i am going to call this callback status in so if status is success else so whatever if we are want to do something in a status success we can do it over here if it is failed we can do it over here okay so uh, this is to save uh, after saving we need to see the result right for that i am going to write another one function over here i'm going to do fun get all notes okay get all notes array of notes okay so it will return an array of nodes the same thing we need to take this realm here in from the realm return realm will return array so actually uh, there is a result will be result result of that particular entity so we have to convert the result of particular entity to an array to use it in our ui right okay for that I am converting this one realm dot object sorry not object objects okay so object here notes dot self okay so what it will do it will take all the items from the notes and it will give to you give to return here so with this item we can do over the uh, we can list the i over here where is it for is finishing here only right so here I'm going to uh, do list in the list so okay first we'll create not let where items is equal to get get all notes okay so this items I'm going to do it here inside this item in okay okay item dot what is that name okay so we'll cover it with let's start gender age space okay so uh, our things are done so we saved and we are we are showing over here also let's run and see the application yeah application is running uh, it's not running but it came with an error so the thing is we have to do two things i forgot to do that so in your uh, target so first go with go to the target in the target you can see the dependencies so if we go to the build setting sorry sorry this 
where is the issue first okay so here we can see uh, that the framework library and the embedded content so we don't want this first of all so we can remove this one okay second do not embed to embed and sign so we have to embed and sign the real uh, shift okay so it is it should be embed and sign then now if we run this one it should run okay the target is so high i think oh 17.2 let's below 215 okay now we'll run okay application is running so this is the uh, form and save so let's add it saving or not okay let uh, status name gender state invalid case no such directory found Okay, then name is equal to this one, gender is equal to this one, this one, then get all nodes. just stop it and rerun it let's see how it is working okay so actually it is saved but the get one we didn't put like that's on it that's why it's not coming okay Each changes are reflecting. I'll just take the debug out. Okay. So we can add Leo uh, M28. So it also got saved. So everything is getting saved. You can see the Leo also. Okay. So these are these are all local database, and we can do some other operations also in uh, let so let me show you those things shortly so we are doing this realm with this one right so we can do like uh, some where operation delete upset all those things so let's see those things in the next video okay thank you